In this video, we'll be seeing how to set up and run Bun.js on DigitalOcean. Log into your DigitalOcean account. Now here, we have to create a new droplet for our project. So click Create Droplets. Here, you have to select Ubuntu. Now I am selecting the latest version of Ubuntu. Now, since we are testing this, I'm going with basic option and let's select a regular and the lowest version. You can select the server specifications according to your need. We are selecting the data center region as London. Now we have to set the password for our root access. Now we have set the password. If you need to enable backup, we can enable it. Now here you can change the host name. Now you can add the tags also. Simple process of creating the droplet on DigitalOcean. Now click create droplet. Now let's wait for completing this. Now you can see the droplet is completely ready and you have got the IP address. Now we have to open command prompt on Windows. So search for command prompt, open command prompt. Here we have to log into our droplet using SSH. So SSH root, our username is root at and the IP address. Copy it from here. Now paste it here and hit enter. Now type yes. Now here we have to type the password we have given earlier. So type the password here. Now I have typed the password that I have given earlier. You have to remember the password while creating the droplet. Now we have logged into our system. Now we have to install bun.js. Let's go to bun.sh. In this website, you have to use this command to install. So this will download the bun.js library. We have to copy this and paste it here. Now you can see it is asking that unzip is required. So we have to install unzip. So for that, type apt install unzip. Now we have installed unzip. Now you can again run the code to install bun.js. Now you have downloaded bun.js. Now you have to add the path. For that, you have to copy this control C. Select and control C. Now you have to open this file. Type nano. Now we have opened the file inside nano. Go down. Now at the bottom, you have to paste what we copied. You have to copy and paste these two lines inside the file bash rc. Click Ctrl plus X. Now it will ask to save it. So type Y. Now simply click enter. Now the file is saved. Now you can run source this simple tilde slash dot bash rc. Okay. After nano, you have to run this for command. Okay. Now you can check whether bun is ready. So type bun version. You can see we are getting the version that is 0 0.1.2. Now bun is successfully added. Now we have to create a project folder. So let's make a folder. Okay, we have created the folder bun.js using the command mkdir make directory now let's move to the folder cd and folder name now here we'll be creating a test file and simply running it so let's make a file let's use cat and create a file http.js here we can paste the demo code go to the website bun.sh scroll down and you will see the demo code. Simply copy this and you can paste it here and type enter. Okay. Now you can see the port is 3000 here. If you want to change it to 
you have to change it now before pasting it you have to change it okay since we are testing this we are using 3000 itself now we can type control c now let's run this file for that type bun run followed by the file name now you have to go to the ip address we have got followed by the port number go to DigitalOcean and copy the ip address again now you can paste the ip address here followed by colon and 3000 and hit enter you can see that welcome to bun the message we entered is showing so our bun js is running you can see that and it's hosted on the server digitalocean so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos